This video is brought to you by EA Game Changers. Today we're here checking out the brand new Sims 4 Dream Home Decorator, which just so happens to be the latest game pack to hit the franchise. This game pack is broken down into three different categories. The first category is Know Your Clients. It's not just about a client's needs, but also their preferences and their budget. Find out what your client likes and dislikes, and keep those in mind while coming up with designs to get a glowing recommendation. Renovate, redecorate, remodel. Whether it's revamping a single room, redoing an entire lot, or refurbishing a commercial space, your goal is to make your clients happy. You're in charge of all the details. The big reveal. Hopefully your work inspires happy crying instead of tears of disappointment. Unveil the results to see how your clients react to their personalized home makeover. Welcome to the first part of Dream Home Decorator, where we're going to kind of experiment with the brand new game pack. I do keep in mind this isn't going to be a series, nor is it going to be an LP of any kind. I just kind of want to experiment with the pack and just see where it takes us. Um, long story short, the background on our Sim Ingrid web she is a widow. She recently lost her husband, Blanchard Weber. And as you guys can see, she is feeling a little distraught over the matter. I did do a create a sim on both Blanchard and Ingrid, kind of touching base on her backstory a little bit. Um, essentially, she's at rock bottom and she wants to kind of like reestablish her life, find some damn purpose, and just be happy again. Um, right now, she's actually reading the obituary which is something I haven't ever had my sim do before. I wonder what she's going to find. After that, she's going to finally take the biggest jump, the biggest leap of faith of her life, and um, enroll in her dream career. Yes, Ingrid is a, a little bit older than most that start off in this field, but I definitely feel like she has what it takes. Um, we're going to dive straight on in by finding a job. Also, this home was originally by Kayla, aka Little Simsy. I did go ahead and use some of the um, dream home decor to furnish this place. So we redid the kitchen. We've also got a couple assets here in the bedroom. This is one of the band. Uh, this is one of the brand new beds. Holy crap! My tongue like literally just <laughs> went crazy. Um, she also has a little office here. So as you guys can see, she came very well prepared. She's ready to do the damn thing. Um, and also I've incorporated some of the dining room chairs into the table set, which I thought was nice. Overall, I feel like it blended pretty well. I did notice like for the stove here, um, if you guys are ever like curious as to what um, fridge will fit perfectly with the dream home decor stove, surprisingly or not, the country kitchen kit actually matches the stove almost perfectly. Being an interior decorator is about two things, having a good eye for design and building relationships with clients. Having people skills and some artistic vision will lead to a bright future and possible recognition. You may start small with some simple home renovations, but eventually with enough hard work, bigger clients and buildings could get you the recognition you deserve. Now hiring interior color consultant. Median gig pay, 600 simoleons. Ingrid is now an interior color consultant at CIA, classic interior artisan. She can use the career panel to search for clients looking for spaces to be redecorated. Although our beloved Ingrid is feeling a little uncomfortable, comfortable at the moment. I definitely think we should book our next gig. Over in the career panel, we can select a gig. And there's also a reputation and performance bar to kind of gauge how we're doing. So for the gigs, I do believe they start every 9 a.m. So to keep a constant flow of cash going and make sure that when you get home, um, you basically book yourself for the next gig. Um, so right now, we don't really have a lot of options since we're kind of new to the game. Um, we do have one opportunity available that says room renovation. The pay is 540 simoleons. The client budget is about nine grand. The client is Barnett Bunch and it is a residential lot type. We suddenly came into a few simoleons and thought, what the hey, let's change things up. Can you renovate a room for us just to change a pace? Give us a holler and we can tell you some things we like 
like or don't like. A new memory card has been added to Ingrid's inventory. She can use it to manage the photos that were taken during an interior decorator gig. Ingrid is up ready to start the day. She's gonna brush her teeth because her breath be smelling a little bit like mothballs these days. And I'm feeling like she's a little bit hungry for whatever reason she wants to grill a hamburger while it is thundering and lightning outside. <laughs> Balls of steel, I swear. Instead, you know what? Let's go and cook something using our handy dandy stove. I don't know what I want to make. Uh, I kind of wanted to do like pancakes or something. I don't know why I can't select pancakes. Can I just like pick breakfast? I don't know why Ingrid is having such a hard time here. Let's just do eggs and toast. We're not skilled enough to uh, make pancakes, which is crazy. We've lived on this planet like a whole, you know, almost a whole like three-fourths of a century and still can't make pancakes. I, you know what? Like story of my life. We do have to actually start our gig here in about an hour. So I think this is going to give us enough time. I'm really excited to have these little like, you know, burners. I think they're so cute. Got a notification that says Ingrid has a decorator gig in one hour. Get to the client's lot on time to chat with them about what, about what they are looking for before starting renovations. Time to design. It's time for Ingrid to head to the client's lot. Getting there on time can be a good opportunity to get to know the client's likes and dislikes. Are you ready to head over? Of course. You can also uh, send them alone, which I kind of like. Maybe you don't actually have to be present all the freaking time because that would feel really redundant and a tidge bit tedious. I love hands-on careers. Don't get me wrong. I love them. I live for them. But sometimes I definitely feel like being a lazy bum here and there. Like, you know, I'm, I'm sure we can all relate. So here we are at the tail's end. Uh, holy crap, this person is loaded. My oh my. Okay, so the first thing that we needed to do was to visit the client's lot, which we've already done. We're gonna go knock on the door. You can't just waltz in, which makes a lot of sense. Super cute. We're getting chased by the cat. <laughs> My God, free stay on the job. It's already going strong. Taking before and after photos to document your work as an interior decorator is important. Learn how to take control and get that perfect shot in taking photos. So we need to get to know the client, which is optional. We're gonna give her a respectful introduction. Um, I can't believe the client is a whole 16 years of age. <laughs> I'm a little, I'm a little confused, but money is money. Um, and then let's see. How how do we get to know them? I think this would be probably, oh wait, hold on. There's a whole panel here saying interior decorator. This will actually give you um, the options. So getting it to know the client, we can learn the client's likes and dislikes, um, click on the client to perform interior socials or click on the objects to insert them. All right, so let's discuss some designs here. We're also going to queue up, um, ask to see inspirations, and just for good measure, let's throw in that last one. I forgot what it was called. Um, The ask about favorite designs. Yeah, that should definitely give us a little bit of insight as to what she's looking for. So some other options, or not options really, but other tasks that we have to do is take before and after photos, enter build mode and make the renovations and take after photos and reveal the newly decorated space to the client. See, the only issue that I feel like I'm kind of having with um, this pack thus far is that you're gonna be renovating these rooms and they're gonna look so freaking different from the rest of the house. Like longevity wise, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to like play this, but for now it's fun. All right, so she brings out her little pad and shows you some inspirations and um, you know, basically what she's looking for in this renovation. I don't know if anything on the screen is of purpose, like, you know, or matters, but um, I don't think I've learned anything. We are gaining what appears to be maybe performance. Oh, look at her, she's going through her little swatch book. So cute, I love that. Okay, uh, I don't know if I was able to discover anything about the client in terms of like what she likes and dislikes. So it appears that we've gotten to know the client. Next, we need to take before photos. Since the client is indeed a teenager, I'm assuming it is her room that she's requesting to renovate. Um, I do believe this would be her room. So I'm gonna like come up here <laughs> and take a before photo. I hope that I'm doing this right. I'm actually feeling a little antsy. Here we go. We're going to take some pictures. I don't know how many we need to like take here. We're going to take a picture of like her computer. We'll take a picture of like, you know, this 
little, I don't know what the heck, like nook. Um, even her bed and the wall art that she currently has. Let's also snag maybe like a zoomed out picture. I don't know like how important it is to have this like perfected, but you know what? I'm just going to go for it anyways. Uh, what do I take another picture of? Let's just do one more of the bed. Okay, cool. So we've gone ahead. We've taken our photos. Photography is art. Oh, Ingrid seems to be enjoying it framing the perfect shot should she gain the likes of photography yeah let's do it absolutely i love that she discovered something about herself before we begin the renovation we do indeed need to send the client away so that this will be a surprise i actually thought initially um that sending the client away meant you like declined the project oh i also just noticed we can see the mood board i don't know if that was something i selected earlier but it wasn't under the initial um interior design pie menu i really do want to gather as much information as possible so i will totally chat it up with her until i feel confident that i know what the client wants uh, let me see. What else can we do? Did she tell me anything? Um, I don't know exactly what it is that she's trying to tell me. Oh my god, I wish this was easier. Hold on. Oh wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> stupid right here it tells you what the client likes i can't even believe i didn't notice that until now the client likes contemporary decor um she loves the color brown and she likes a mission decor see here i was thinking i was gonna be able to make everything all matchy match but uh that's not the case at all all right so now i feel like i can finally send her away where the heck did she go all right she's actually going up the stairs um we are going to send her away now and then we'll hop in to um bill mode i'll head out now so you can get started see you later once you're in bill mode you will pull up a room renovation panel which will tell you the client's budget how much you spend how much you're getting paid and also what the client likes um there is a little panel here for requirements and the only restriction at the moment is that i can't add any new floor tiles uh if you want you can actually filter out the different um decor categories by simply clicking the icon which i think is so handy dandy because i wouldn't know right off the top of my head i wonder if it works for color as well <gasps> that makes things so much easier and ooh, we can even do it for mission i think i'm gonna go and renovate this room um speed build style so that i'm not like making you guys wait forever to see the final results but you can still see kind of me um going through the process so i guess it's time to uh get this renovation started i won't make it easy for you now up my time and I don't really break too easily but I'm worth it cause I'll slip into your dreams tonight oh so give me so give me your all I'll take it I'll take it to Mars oh I'll stick like glue inside your mind just watch me break it Okay, so I finally finished the room and I feel like overall that was a lot more fun than I thought it was going to be. One of my main concerns I mentioned earlier is that when renovating these rooms, they're going to stand out too much from the rest of the house. Now, I don't think that was the case here, but obviously I can't speak for future renovations. Uh, one of the cool things I did notice, though, is that your client budget can change depending on how much the objects in the room itself is worth. Um, I wonder if I was to take out like other objects if that would kind of include or increase my budget um so what we're gonna do is we are going to have ingrid come upstairs we're gonna have her take a little after photo uh the 
freaking room itself, you guys. Like, just where it's placed in this house was literally driving me crazy. So I had to like build with walls down, which I absolutely freaking hate. Um, but overall, like I said, a pretty, a pretty good experience. So, oh my God, this is looking so plain. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I thought I, I really thought I did something here, Ingrid. You need to get, you need to get a little bit, um, a little bit closer in the room here. Let's actually stand from this angle. I guess position matters, does it not? I don't know. Anyway, okay, let's just try this one more time. Um, the objects are really pretty. Like, I actually kind of like the build by mode, uh, objects, but like I said, um, was feeling a little nervous about how they were going to integrate with the, um, you know, just like the home itself. I don't know how to like, I'm like kind of nervous. This feels like it's for real a little bit. I don't know if this was a better place to take them or we should, you know, oh my gosh, I'm a little nervous. Oh my God. Can we walk? I would, oh, <gasps> what? Oh my God. What a dork. Okay. So if you use your arrow keys, your sim can actually move throughout the uh, bedroom. This makes life so much easier. Now I've got like those ugly <laughs> mistake photos. I'm kind of embarrassed. You know what? It's my first time. Now we got to reveal the newly decorated space to the client. It says after decorating the space to fit the client's sim's preference, click on the decorator on the decorator sim, use the phone or use the relationship panel to call the clients back to the lot. All right. So obviously we're going to use our cell phone and I love how it says like she's at work. That's cute. Okay. So let's do the call the clients to lot via the phone. Oh, thank God. Okay. So we can select the photos for the reveal. Um, we are going to pick this one and that one. Um, I feel like that should suffice. Those look the best. These ones were kind of like, whoops, accident. Hold on. Why is it telling me this? Oh, we have to pick these ones too. So I'm going to choose th this one and that one. Okay. So do I have to like, so hold on. <gasps> Why is it doing that? So before and after, hold on, not enough before and after photos selected. <gasps> Ew. Okay. So you have to at least have three. <laughs> oh my God, this is a mistake. <laughs> All right, we're going to go with the computer pictures. Oh, dude, I am like so embarrassed to post this. <laughs> what did I do? Ingrid, it wasn't me, it was her, okay? I mean, homegirls got glasses for a reason, y'all. Just chill, just chill. Chill, daddy, chill, okay? I'm so freaking embarrassed. <laughs> I am going to literally cringe when I... um. See these pictures. Okay, host reveal event. Do you want to personally show off the renovated space to your clients? <laughs> no, thanks. All right, so we need to re uh, reveal renovated space, show off the objects, chat with clients, ask a client for their final verdict. Also, another thing I glazed over was the fact that when getting to know your client, you can actually inspect their objects that they currently have um, in the home. I didn't do that because I don't know. I, I just forgot. All right. So um, do I need to like bring everybody upstairs to like show off the renovated space? Reveal renovated space. How the freaking heck um, do I do this? All right. Let me just try to select Brid Bridget and see if it was possible. Oh, reveal renovations okay. to client. Easy. Okay, cool. All right, feeling a little nervous, but also feeling very confident in Ingrid here. All right, she's been, like I said, looking uh, through uh, Simtrist for inspiration. We're going to bring the whole family upstairs, <laughs> which is beautiful. Ingrid needs to go to the dentist. And I love how they, like, cover their eyes and stuff. I think that's super duper cute. All right, so here is our montage. <laughs> Woo! Oh, my God so bad it's okay this part's actually good though that's like that's that's a good before and after reveal i hope she likes it i love the montage though that's kind of cool okay so next we need to ingrid stop trying to leave we need to show off some of the objects i don't know if she just stomped like she's pissed um uh was i supposed to get to know all the clients what is going on here check this out i don't think she i think she hates it i think she actually doesn't like it at all. Um, I feel like there's something seriously going on here. I am not sure what's happening. Uh, there's like weird little hands things happening. I, I thought I thought it was just Ingrid. 
Do you know what I mean? Or not Ingrid, Bridget. Okay, so she did like that. Um, she does like the desk, I hope. I'm so confused. This is really interesting. Um, I don't understand why the whole family has to be here, but I don't know if she likes it or she hates it, to be honest with you. I really don't know. Y'all, I totally messed up a little bit. Under here, it does say the client is Barnett Bunch. I haven't seen Barnett. Don't know where he is. I actually thought it was Bridget for some reason because she had the little client tab. It appears that everybody in the house is essentially the client. So I don't know if I messed up or I did or I didn't, whatever. Um, but uh, once you've chatted up everybody in the house or chatted with the client um, and the Sims have gone over and looked at everything, you'll start getting these like notifications that say that they're ready to like discuss their final thoughts or their final verdict. Um, so we're going to just finish that out really quick. Otherwise, you're not able to ask them until they tell you that they're ready to talk about it. I love how she's, you know, just chit-chatting with the poodle. Um, so yeah, a little, a little confusing. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm definitely like, mm and we've got some glitches happening here that's annoying even though i might have messed this up a little bit it seems like everybody's still loving the renovation so i don't know if i should be excited or sad or whatever but you know what we're just gonna roll with the punches we have one more person to ask and that should be a wrap the results are in ingrid has completed the gig and has received the following she earned 648 simoleons and her professional reputation has improved significantly so we're gonna have her go home um we did indeed receive a promotion which is really exciting i'm not gonna lie i definitely want to do another renovation but i'm probably gonna have to save that for the next episode because i feel like this one was so freaking long i don't know we'll have to like vow when we get to the house uh but i do want to read off this um i do want to read off this promotion to you guys so ingrid here is feeling rather exhausted i can't totally see a huge difference with their reputation but that is something i think is going to get built up over time we've also received a moodlet called giggity gig take a gig complete a gig take another gig getting giggity with it while ingrid is going for her nightly stroll i wanted to kind of talk about my first impressions of the pack now i'm gonna be completely honest with you guys long term i'm probably never gonna have my personal sims indulge in interior design as a career ever now i will say cast items and bill by items I will definitely use in the future. My only gripe is that, well, a lot of the instructions weren't clear. My client was deceased. He didn't even Aww. exist, which was kind of frustrating. And then I also noticed um, some glitches with the uh, animations. Now we're going to move in to the next gig here. And we're going to end up picking the same one that we picked previously because you don't really get a lot of options until you start leveling up in the career. So um, once you do start progressing a little bit, you'll be able to do things like room additions, so like a, a, a bathroom, just a regular room. You can also do like level renovations, level addition. Uh, you'll be able to create a fabulous living room as well. So obviously this is our only option. We're going to go ahead and choose the room renovation for the Villa Real family. It's basically the same budget and even, okay, even the description's the same. I was kind of hoping that they would be alternating like there'd be something to kind of keep you kind of keep you into it like pull you pull you into the gig like excited hyped you know like yes it's not the same thing over and over um but I don't know I, I can't really give you a concrete opinion just yet um that's why I'll do a couple more gameplay episodes just to see how we're feeling but are, how are you feeling let me know in the comments down below what do you think so far of um dream home decorator i'm very curious to know anyways you guys i'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this episode here i hope that you all enjoyed and if you did you know what to do but don't forget to go ahead and comment and subscribe let me know what you guys think in the comments down below where this sun does not shine and i will see you all next time bye guys. <laughs>